Hello, this is Paul from Foster Tech. In this video, let's prove a theorem 2.3.4, which is a determinant of matrix multiplication, a matrix product. It states the uh, determinant of product equals the product of determinant. Very good, very important result in linear algebra. Uh, let's prove. <laughs> We were classified, okay, uh, the determinant, uh, the matrix is A. See, in two cases, if A is invertible or if A is not invertible, okay, to prove the theorem. So the first, case one. A, let's say, is invertible, okay, invertible. If A is invertible, and this is an easy case, okay. So if A is invertible, and therefore we can get it. Mm, the determinant of A should be uh, not zero, right? Determinant of A is not zero. Okay, it's not good enough. We have to use the in, in equivalence theorem first. If A is invertible, then A can write it into a, a product of uh, elementary. Okay, so I have to use that. See, therefore A can write into uh, elementary, like E1, E2, that, that, that. EK, and this is elementary, or elementary matrix, this. This should be the equivalence theorem, right? Equivalence theorem 1.6.4. Yeah, no problem, right? So therefore, I can use the results we learned before. Therefore, see. I can do calculation. Determinant of A times B should be equals determinant of E1, E2, oops. times EK times B. Okay, see, and this is the product of elementary, and we have a result from the lemma, we have a 2.3.2, okay, so we can break down the product into a product multiplication. So therefore, now, um, I get, so, the determinant of uh, AB this time equal determinant of uh, E1 and time determinant of E2 that that uh, time determinant of EK and then time determinant of uh, last B. Uh, this is from the lemma. Okay, so you can see. 2.3.2 just a group okay and then we just a group we group this again okay if we group this again therefore i use the same okay therefore i get a determinant of a b now equals determinant of e1 we put this small part together which is mm, determinant of uh, E1, uh, so, so, times E2, da, 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 times EK, again, and then times determinant of B. And we just okay, use the other one to get this. They are the same. This, they are the same lemma. 2.3.2. Okay, repeat to use. Okay, therefore, what do we get? See, and uh, E1, E2 times EK is exactly the A. Therefore, we get the result by the definition. So we have uh, the product of uh, the determinant of the product equals determinant of A times the determinant of B. It's 
good. So the first case is easy if A is invertible. Now let's think about if A is not invertible or it's a singular, a little bit different now. Second case, look at uh, case two. If A is a singular or not invertible. Okay, so this time we have to think about if A is not invertible. Uh, why the product they can break down? Okay. Hmm. If A is not invertible, this time we have to use uh, equivalence theorem. We think about uh, the reduced row echelon. Okay. I just think about it. Reduced if uh, A is not invertible. Uh, and then what do we get? We should get um, to reduce the row echelon. Okay, R should uh, reduce the row echelon. Okay, this is the reduced row echelon of A. Let's simply say is hmm. Let's say R. Let's say R. So R. Uh, should the B is uh, not uh, identity? Okay, it's not I. Here is a, did we say is the size? No, we did not say the size. So let's say the reduced the row echelon is not identity. It's not I identity matrix. Right? Because the equivalence theorem says that if uh, the reduced the row echelon of a square is a uh, identity matrix, then A is invertible. So A if A is not invertible, therefore definitely is not identity. Okay. This is the equivalence theorem. You can check as 1.6.4. Okay, start so from here. Now, <clears throat> And uh, because R is not identity, therefore I know the last row of R should be all zero. See, therefore uh, the last row of R uh, are all zeros. Yeah, because we have a result before. Uh, is the theorem 1.4 the theorem 1.4.3 uh, that theorem says for a square matrix the reduced row rational has only two cases one is identity the second if it is not identity the last row should be all zero see it is not identity so the last row should be all zero okay therefore this is important so the last row of R was zero, and now we can break down the matrix A by row operation. Okay. So now, uh, let's let's uh, just um, uh, break it down A. So how do you break it down A? Let's A uh, to the first row operation to the second row operation. That 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 do sum or a sequence of row operation. Okay, later we can find uh, the reduced row rational, right? Okay, from here, the, this is a row operation. Okay, this is all elementary, and that this is a row operation. Okay, go through some uh, row operations. See, so that from here, what do we have? Mm, definitely, I see the breakdown of matrix A. Uh, matrix A should be what? Should be R here, right? Left the multiply E K inverse, and then E K minus one the inverse, and then goes on the last should be E one inverse. Is that okay? 
So we move all the elementary from the left to the right. <clears throat> and uh, what do we have? So each of these term the inverse of elementary is the elementary. Keep in mind. This is the elementary. We have the result. So I can do calculation now. Almost the result now. I can do calculation. The term lambda of a times b should be equals see equal the term lambda of e one that 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 times e k all these times r right can you see and the all uh the inverse elementary are elementary okay so therefore a matrix is the left term is elementary we can Break it down just to buy the lemma we have. We just have. See, so this equals, let me just put here. Let me just put here. Equals determinant of E1 inverse. Um, oops, I missed something. I missed uh, B. Okay. This is A. So let me times B. And we can see this is as a group. This is a, a matrix. One application is the a matrix. So a matrix is left uh, multiply some elementary. We can break down the elementary. So into this determinant of the second uh, determinant, and then goes on determinant the last times determinant of R times B sense this is the lemma we just have how many 2.3.2 um so this is not a zero can you see so all this term is not a zero however i get something from the last how about this this should be zero why is zero um because we have the last row of R is all zero, remember? See, reduce the row echelon. See, the last row of R are all zeros. That we use this. Okay. Uh, let me give a name. Let me give, say, this is equation one. Okay, the first statement that one. We use this result. We can get it. This determined that is zero. We can get that this is the determinant of E1 da, 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 times all determinant of EK times determinant. This matrix finally will go to this matrix. The last is 0, 0, da, 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 all 0. Imagine. And the above, I don't know. I just put it start. The last row are all zero because the start. Oh, sorry, it's not start. Because the equation one, the statement of one. Because R, uh, the last row. Okay, so let's see. The last row of R are all zero. Therefore, matrix multiplication. Imagine we can use the row by row definition. Is that okay? So row, this is all user row by row okay. uh, definition of uh, matrix multiplication. See, we definitely find it the first row. Came from uh, the last row. Came from the last row of R. The last row of R is all zero. Therefore, mm. uh, the multiplication of the matrix is uh, all zero on the last row. The therefore, determinant should be zero, right? Then the by call back the expansion. Okay. See. Therefore, now we get uh, this is zero because all are not a zero, the last is a zero, so the determinant is zero. Okay. 
and then however see at the same time or we say in addition we just look at the determinant of a times the determinant of b equals because a is not invertible see the second case a is not invertible if a is not invertible uh, what do we have if a is not invertible so uh, determinant of a is zero right because a not yeah invertible okay so that's zero the time is the determinant of b of course equals zero and the, this is from the previous theorem should be uh, to determine the test okay for invertibility so that's a theorem 2.3.3 we have uh, what do we get in the second case we get a determinant of the product that equals zero we get the Product of the determinant of equal zero. Therefore, okay, we have the results. So, the determinant of a b equals the determinant of a times the determinant of b. Yes, that's the proof. Thank you.